Hi everyone, thank you for joining. So today I have a collective haul that I want to share with you guys. And I've been so busy this week that I haven't had time to sh uh, to film a video. I had a tutorial and I had a review that I really wanted to share with you guys. But I hadn't had time. So today I actually received my package that because I ordered something from Sephora. And I just got it today. So I was like, you know what, I'll just film a collective haul that I did. And here it is. And I'll just start off with some drugstore items that I purchased. I guess I'll start off with, um, I stopped at H-E-B sometime last week, and these are actually products that I haven't used, well, some of them I haven't used. The first thing is, I up this e.l.f. Studio Small Stipple Brush, and I haven't used it, I just washed it yesterday, so I haven't used it at all, but I've heard really great things about this brush, and I thought it was only sold online, but I guess now they have them in stores, but my Target doesn't have them, so if you guys are from Texas, because uh, H-E-B's are only located in Texas it's a supermarket or a you know it's a grocery store so it's only located in Texas so if you guys are from Texas definitely check them out but now they have their st small stipple brush and I can't wait to use them especially with my cream blushes from flower cosmetics since they have a they come in a small a small package or a small pan so I can't wait to try it and I also picked up this elf uh, baked eyeshadow and it's in the color toasted it's a really, really pretty color, and again, I thought only these were sold online, but my local HEB had them, so I decided to pick those two up. I picked these two more products from HEB, and one of them is this matte top coat from Revlon, the color Whispers from Maybelline. This is actually a rave. A lot of girls on YouTube have these at night. It's the first time I get my, my hands on it, and my color is a nighty ooh la lilac. And I got the, it's a lilac color, really pretty color. They compare them or they say they're similar to the Revlon Color States, but I don't think they're similar in any way. They're more similar to their Maybelline Baby Lips. The, the way they feel, they feel very similar to those, um, except these are more moisturizing in a way. But if you have chapped lips, which mine are, they accentuated them. So I really didn't like that. But then again, I need to exfoliate them. But we'll see. So I picked this one up. I also stopped at Walgreens. And the reason why I stopped at Walgreens is because they have the Arizona Teas for two for one dollar. Usually they're 99 cents each. And now they're two for 99 cents. So I think the sale is... The sale ends tomorrow, which is Saturday, March 16. I couldn't help it, so I, I had to go to the makeup section as well. And my surprise, the Rimmel Cosmetics were 50% off their entire collection. So I picked up these two Kate Moss lipsticks. I did have, I do own one of them, but I really don't like the scent. I don't, I, I'm not even going to smell it because I don't like how, the, how they smell. But the good thing is that they don't linger, so it's not like I'm going to have the smell all day long. But I really like the formula, and just overall, the lipstick is just great colors here. So I picked up 101, really nice baby pink, and I picked up 103, pretty like mauve color. I also picked up the Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. It looks like this. I used to use this back then, probably like two or three years ago I used to use this. But it was 16 hours. I think it was 16 hours back then. Now it's 25 hour. I haven't heard people around YouTube talking about this new formulation. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's bad formulation. I haven't even heard good or negative feedback or review. So, I don't know. I mean... I'll give it a try. I haven't tried it, but I'll definitely let you guys know what I think. And then I also picked up the Match Perfection uh, Skin Tone Adapting Concealer. It looks like this. I used to own this a long time ago, but my color was in medium, I think, and it was really dark, but now I picked it up in light, and I really want to give it a try. 
and then today I was watching a video from a fresh tube Tanya which if you guys haven't subscribed to her yet I'll put her YouTube link down below that way you guys can go and subscribe to her channel and watch her videos because she does amazing videos I really love her she's quickly become one of my favorite people here in YouTube to watch she's I don't know I just love her personality and I'm pretty sure she's watching right now so if, you, if you're watching Tanya hi I really like your videos woman Anyway, she mentioned this cuticle massage cream with apricot oil. And it's funny because I was just telling my husband last night that my cuticles are really, really bad and I really needed something for them. And then today morning I watched uh, Tanya's video and she mentioned this. I was like, huh, score. I need to go and get mine. Picked it up. I haven't opened it, but I'll let you guys know what I think of it. And then I ordered some stuff from Sephora and I just received it today. So I, I got some stuff out of the packaging. And I want to do this video really quickly, so I'll just go through it really fast. I'll go through my samples that I got. This time I picked up some fragrance samples, just because they never have, like, good samples. They had like, a, they always have the Purity Facial Cleanser, which is really, really bad. I, I really dislike it. They had another Soy Face Cleanser, something like that, and then they had something Derma, something... I don't even remember why lie. I don't remember, but they were just they weren't just appealing. I wasn't interested in them. Like you know what? I'm just gonna go with fragrances. I picked up the Jean Paul Lamel for my husband. C by Chloe and Escada Delicate Notes. Let me tell you, girl, I'm very surprised because I don't know about you, but every time I order from Sephora and I select their samples because they let you select your samples they never I'm not even kidding they never send me the samples I select they always send me something different so I don't know I'm actually surprised that they actually send me this so another perk it was uh, you put in a code and they would also send you a deluxe sample for the new cover FX I believe this is a, this hasn't been out yet or this hasn't been released yet, but it's supposed to be a matte setting powder. My skin, my shade is a uh, medium. And it's a really decent size. I was like, you know what? It's a pretty good size. So it's not out yet, but I'm so glad I got it. You know, looks pretty good. I only ordered five things. One of them is the Origins Checks and Balances. Really, really great things about this Origins Checks and Balances Forthy Face Wash. Especially when you use it with your with a Clarisonic. I don't know, I really have been hearing amazing things. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to give it a try. So I picked that one up. I also picked up the trio from Tarte. The Deluxe Sample Trio. It comes with a clean slate poreless uh, primer and this is the reason why I picked it up because I've heard rave about this primer I really I already have a bunch of primers that I have here but I really want to try to see what's all the hype about this one I also got a brightening primer it looks like this these are all deluxe samples by the way it was only nine dollars and a eye primer from Tarte I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This was a little duo. It was, it was only, I think, $10. I needed some tweezers. These are very, very tiny, but as long as they do the job, I don't mind. And it came with a clear brow gel, which I I really don't use any clear brow gels. I, If anything, I used it a long time ago, but I'm not really a big fan of them. Just because I've changed the way I've been, I've been doing my eyebrows for the past year. But, I don't know. I'll give it a try. Then the last two things are actually lip products. These are both Rave lip products. And I just decided to go into it. The first one is the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar. And my shade is in Memento. Looks like this. Heard great things about it. And I've heard that just a little bit goes a long way. I can't wait to use it. My Sephora, my local Sephora's don't have any testers of these. So it's the first time I see it in person. Sorry, my camera died. I was, I, this is the first time that I see it in person. And I just applied it on right now. And I love the color. 
and it has a minty smell so I really like that I love any lip product that has mint smells but yeah I'll let you guys know what I think about this lip tar and then the last thing I picked up was this Too Faced Lip Creme Color Drenched Lip Cream it looks like this I know that Emily Noel and Ms. Gold Girl rave about this lip product here or they really like it and finally my I, the last person I heard it from was from my friend Annabelle 680 and it's in the color Nude Beach and when she uh, mentioned it I was like you know what it's going on my wish list and yeah I picked it up now and I really really like it it's a really pretty nude color but yeah, this concludes my collective haul I really hope you guys enjoyed let me know what your collective haul have been or what products you have purchased and follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.